So let's get started with Adobe Proto. That's how the icon looks. There. So this is basically a, an application which allows you to make wireframes easily on the go. So let's just get started with some project. So first of all, uh, I'll show you this uh, option where uh, you get to select what kind of resolution you want out of the wireframe. You know, so you have web layout, default layout, mobile layout, tablet layout, etc. You cannot put in your custom uh, width, which is sad, but you can adjust the number of rows and gutter space. So you know, you can have that many rows and that much gutter space. This is basically the pixel width. So let's go into create. Now this is what you will be greeted with. Uh, this is this section right here is the toolbar, and out here you have uh, the preview button, manage pages. This is this button right here allows you to you know change the gutter space, change the width of the grid. You know, as you can see. So let's get started uh, now. Most of the work on this can be done using just gestures, but you can also, you know, use individual tools. So let's see what gestures we have. First of all, we get a box right there. Let's make another one. It's pretty intuitive that way. It automatically snaps to the grids. Uh, now let's have an image box over here. That's it. You can, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see that you can move thing. You can you know increase or decrease the size of the image box. So that is an image box. On clicking this icon, you can either duplicate this image box or you can delete it. So let's duplicate it and place another one right there. Now let's add some video element. Yeah, that's the video box right there. So. Uh, Sorry. Need to double click on the icon. Space it out there. Same thing happens with this as well. Now let's add some text on the header. So that's that gesture will give you the text. You can you know directly double click on it and put in your own text. So let's say thinkdigit.com just for your example set uh, you can uh, you know change the font make it not the font you can make it sans serif serif for you now that doesn't look too good let's just keep it at serif ah oh, that looks pretty good you can change the font size like that either this way or you can just directly go here and you know that way is This is an option called link, which I will come to later. Mm. This will bring up a navigation menu. So click the, on the menu, and you can, you know, again change the type of font. You can change the font size. You can change the number of navigation bars that you can have. So let's say let's put around five. Now let's increase the size on these. looks about right let's move it on the right hand side okay mm, so that's now let's add some text oh sorry some text You can delete it by just clicking the right here. Uh, let's add the text, banner text, uh, something like that. Now you cannot add an image and you know expect the text to flow around the image. That is not possible on this because I'll show you what happens. It just forms a layer on top of the text, so you know you can't really operate in layers out here as you would in 
save Photoshop touch. So let's get rid of that. You can even uh, delete stuff in groups, you know. So if you just click on that, say delete. Okay, I want to also delete this, you know. You can just click on this, and all three of these elements will be deleted. So let's just go back to deleting only this. Uh, you have this thing called widgets out here, which allows you to add different elements, like a tab bar, for instance. You know, so you click on the tab, you open a text box or something like that. Delete that. Then you have an accordion menu, which basically, if you click on this section, then this section will rise up and it will you know, show this kind of space. So that is one. Now the webcam is basically linking, you know, link one, link two, link three, sort of a thing. You've seen vertical menu bar. Uh, you can also do that. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can't do anything inside this because it'll select that box. So, you know, it's easy to do it over here. Uh -oh. I'm just sorry, sorry. You have to select that. Uh -uh, I don't want this. So make sure whenever you are doing a gesture, this icon is selected. Let's go back there. Select this. So that opens up a you know vertical navigation bar. You can even get it like this. It's another way of doing it. missing out on okay this now these are basically different buttons that you can have you know so you can have video button or you can have your drop down buttons check boxes if you want so lots of customization options there Let's change the name of this menu. So let's call it Home. Let's call this News. Let's call this Reviews. And so on. Uh, now let me show you the linking option. Now this icon right here, it's called Pages. You know, so you click on that, you can add a new page. Now you can see this page is blank, so you can uh, select this, open up this, and now you can see, you know, select item to link is present. So you can just, let me show you, let me get that a bit closer, yeah, I hope it's visible. Anyways, I'll read it out. So uh, when I bring up this link, it says home, news, reviews, menu 4, menu 5. And there's another option called link, which says none, index, and page 1. So let's uh, link news to page 1. Now let's see what happens. So you go in the preview mode. That's that I right there. See, now this is the preview mode. Uh, very basic layout of a website now let's click on home nothing will happen let's click on news it goes to page one you no know, we, we had nothing on it so it's not showing anything so now let's see let's try to add something over here so that's a video bar again let's go back to a preview mode and there you can see the video so you know yeah so you click on news and see you will get a video bar so that's about linking pages. Uh, you can uh, only link navigational bars, horizontal, vertical navigational bars. Uh, you, I don't think you cannot link, link uh, images or video. So you know, if you want to uh, try out options such as uh, if you click on the image, it'll give you a maximized version of the image. That's not possible in this. 
same with video. If you click on video, it will start playing in that particular box. I'm assuming it won't, you know, expand or anything like that. So this is basically just a basic wireframe kind of a thing for your website designs. Now this is this icon allows you to see the full screen. I saw the menus. We saw this pages. This is of course the grid icon. Snap to grid. You can either have it. It's good to have it on on. This is the preview mode. Uh, that's select objects to so you can just select and either duplicate them or uh, delete them. You know. Now, once you're done with the project, uh, you can just go back to your project index, and it will be saved as. Is it not? Um, yeah, that's it. It saves as. It has been saved. Right here, project four. Uh, you can send it to Creative Cloud, you know, and uh, probably view it somewhere on some other tablet. We can duplicate projects. We've already done one. So you can see project one copy, project one. So these are two. These two are the same projects. Uh, let me show you an attempt we did at you know replicating the new thing digit website. So that's what we had done and uh, so this is home mm, and you go uh, another sad aspect is you cannot zoom out you know so you can see that the, the zoom out option has been disabled Oops. there has it gone So yeah, you can zoom in all you like, but uh, zooming out, nah, not beyond that. So if you have a website which you know goes, see there you can see the zoom out option is disabled. So even if you go in the, <laughs> that's that's not a good sign, you know. I mean, I want to see my whole website because I couldn't see the part below. I went into the portrait mode, but I still cannot see. So yeah, that's one quirk which we hope Adobe will improve in the future iterations. Apart from that, uh, yeah, we would like to see it, you know, enabling options like exporting it to, uh, exporting it as a PDF or as an HTML file, you know, or options where you can mail this wireframe to your friends who can view it even though, even if they do not have this app with them. So those are some reflections, some feedbacks that we personally felt should be in order yeah so let's see so when you click on home it stays there when you click on news it goes to another page uh, let's go back to menu one when you click on views it goes to a completely different page so you know you can keep playing around with that so that's about adobe proto Hope you liked the video and hope you like the app as well. Thank you.